Hey there, welcome to Prog Monster. My name is Murph and I'm the host of this show. A show dedicated to hard rock, heavy metal, and progressive rock. And in this case, some pop and country kind of rock. <laughs> Anyways, it's Wednesday night favorites. And tonight we're doing a top 10 songs of the Eagles. A band that I've long liked um, and have enjoyed their music. So tonight we're going to do the top 10 songs from the Eagles. Uh, and, and we're going to do it in the normal fashion, which is uh, from 10th to 1st, or from least, or from worst to best, or from least to favorite, whatever you want to call it. Um, <clears throat> I don't really like the term least, or I don't really like the term worst, because it suggests that these songs are not good, and I like all of them, otherwise they wouldn't be in my top 10. And then I'm going to do the honorable mentions afterwards. So... We'll start at number 10 first. And number 10 for me is Tequila Sunrise off the Desperado album. I like this song. Pretty cool. I haven't got this album, so it's the only one I know. And I know basically from hearing it here and there. You don't hear the, um, much of the Eagles on the internet because they block that. They're one of the bands that do that. And I, I quite understand it, but I think maybe they might be a little behind the times with that. Anyways, <clears throat> the next up is from the Long Run album. Number nine, Those Shoes. I like that song quite a bit as well. Um, maybe years ago, this wouldn't have made my top ten Eagles. But it's steadily grown with me. Some of the quieter stuff has grown, grown quite a bit for me over the time. And I think it's just my age. I'm not as into the heavier stuff as I used to be. Um, and also, uh, some of these songs weren't worn out. Um, I didn't overplay them, and so they still have some life left in them. Okay, the next uh, one up is uh, number eight from the Hotel California album, which is New Kid in Town. I know it, it's played quite a bit on rock radio stable and stuff, but I don't really listen to rock radio stable anymore, so... It's not worn out for me, and so I still, when I put the album on, I look forward to hearing this song. It's one of my favorites by them. Uh, number seven, Sad Cafe. I really like this song quite a bit. It's actually gone down a bit over the years, uh, not because it's lessened in my, excuse me, not because it's lessened in my stature, just that some of the other songs have just come on a little bit more. That's all it is. Um... And it's from the Long Run album as well. So the Sad Cafe, number seven. Uh, number six, and I just want to say the top... The, the Eagles songs have all pretty much switched around over the years. Like there's been, except for maybe the top song has been in the top five forever. And it's currently number one, but it hasn't always been there. Other songs have moved up and taken it. Anyways, on to where I was. Uh, number six, which is Take It Easy off the first album. like that quite a bit as well. I like that first album a lot. Um, it's just I like some of these other albums a little bit more. Uh, number five, Hotel California, the classic, the most probably well-known Eagle song of all time. It's iconic. I never really get bored of listening to it. I know it's overplayed quite a bit. But again, the Eagles don't get overplayed as much as some bands because it's hard to find them on the internet and they don't play them as much. And I don't listen to the radio, so I'm not getting worn out by it. So Hotel California from Hotel California. Number four, Life in the Fast Lane from the same album. I'd like this song just a little bit more. I think it's because it was one of the very first uh, Eagle songs I liked. It was the one that prompted me to go and buy the long run when it came out. So uh, it still has some longevity for me. The number three song is maybe not something that is going to be expected. It's also from the long run album. Um, it's more of a deeper track. I know people do know it. So I don't know why. All of a sudden I'm tired. I don't know where that came from because I was flying a few minutes ago. King of Hollywood. Yeah, love that song quite a bit. It's moved up quite a bit. Wasn't even wouldn't have been even on these charts ten years ago, but now it's right up there in the top three. 
Uh, number two, one of these nights. Uh, this is a classic Eagle song from the same album, One of These Nights. Most people would know this song fairly regularly. I would have to say it's probably in most people's track. If they're listening to the Eagles, this is one of the tracks they'll want to listen to. Great tune. Love it. And then, of course, the number one, which has been the number one since I bought the album. Um, I've played this album a lot. It's one of my favorite albums. Definitely one of my favorite Eagles. There we go again. Maybe my favorite Eagles song, uh, album of all time. And, of course, it's a self-titled Long Run. The Long Run. Along and I really like Don Henley's voice on this song quite a bit, and just overall, I really like the song. It's it's heavier than most, but not overly heavy. I don't really think of any of the Eagle songs as being super heavy, but this one's one of the heavier ones. And so, you know, there you have it. My top ten Eagle songs. So we just do them in uh, the order that they the descending order this time. Number one, the long run. Number two, One of These Nights. Number three, The King of Hollywood. Number four, Life in the Fast Lane. Number five, Hotel California. Number six, Take It Easy. Number seven, The Sad Cafe. Number eight, New Kid on Town. Number nine, Those Shoes. And number 10, Tequila Sunrise. And you know what? Probably the top seven or eight can switch around depending on any given day. Number eight could be as high as number one even. But it's just, uh, this current is currently the way I feel about them. Now some of the honorable mentions who could have made it. Uh, the last song who didn't, the last two songs that I'm, I'm going to name as honorable mentions here uh, also were just, just pushed off this chart. They could have easily made it. I just chose uh, the ones I chose for the reason I chose them. Um, and they are Victim of Love and In the City. Love both of those tracks. They've been in my top 10 before. Well, they may go back in it again, just currently or not. Just sitting on the cusp. The other three songs I wrote down for honorable mentions. Best of My Love, good song. Already Gone. Uh, that song was in the top 10 at one time too, but it's kind of drifted away a bit for me. And Peaceful Easy Feeling. You know, good tune. I think it's a good tune. It's a tune that challenges to make the list, but never quite makes it. Anyways, there you have it. Wednesday Night Favorites with the top 10 Eagle songs. My favorite top 10 Eagle songs. And just remember, these are my top 10 favorite Eagle songs. You can have your own top 10 favorite Eagle songs. If you want to list them, that's even better. If you got any comments about what I've said, please feel free to do so. Um, if you like... Uh, the video like subscribe let me know what you think what we maybe there's might be something you want to hear uh, who are taught who's a top favorite of some kind of some category um, I do do other stuff I do top 25s here I do favorite instrumentalist uh, favorite prog bands I've done lots of different stuff but that's this is the show I want to do that on so I hope you enjoyed it and uh, have a good evening have a good Wednesday night bye Frog Monster out.